Hello everyone, it's Yazo again and in today's video I'll be talking about strongest champions or top 10 champions from the certain faction. This is going to be a start of a mini series in which I'll be talking about 10 champions uh, that are strongest from each rarity, from all rarities actually, from banner lords down to sylvan watchers. So let's get started with the banner lords on today's video. Uh, I'm gonna include champions like I said from legendary, epic category, rare category, uncommon, common. And I'll try to upload these every other day. Hopefully we'll make the schedule. But yeah, let's get started with this. First I'm gonna take a look at commons and uncommons and rares. And I actually don't think any of these champions that comes to into the top 10 list for the uh, champions from the banner lord list so let's go and take a look at epics and actually there is a first epic that i'm going to include and it's going to be a stagnite stagnite a pretty fast champion pretty good base stat uh, for the speed and hp as well and let's take a look at his abilities his a1 spot query attacks one enemy two times each hit has a 30 up to 50% chance of placing 30% decreased speed debuff for 2 turns. Another ability, his A2 or Hunt Master, attacks all enemies, has a 95% chance of placing 60% decreased defense debuff and a 50% decreased attack debuff for 2 turns on a 3 turn cooldown when booked. Of course you can use the uh, Sniper Mastery to increase this chance up to 100%. And his passive is to place 50% increased accuracy buff on an ally for one turn each time an ally has a debuff resisted by an enemy. Pretty good champion, amazing support, you can use him in campaign, you can probably use him in arena as well, but yeah. The next one from this epic tier is gonna be Archmage Helmet, a champion that you can get from Doom Tower, amazing design as well and yeah doom tower normal even not even hard great base speed and let's take a look at his kit a1 arcane dynamo attacks one enemy fills the champion's turn meter by 10 percent fills the turn meter by 20 if this attack is critical so you're gonna build him with a hundred percent crit rate next attack attacks one enemy also attacks all other enemies if the first attack is critical the second hit has a 50 percent up to 75% uh, chance of placing stun debuff for one turn. After attacking, decreases the turn meters of enemies uh, each enemy without the stun debuff by 20%. And actually, you don't have to build him with 100% crit. You can build him with a 70% crit because of this awesome ability. Places a 30% increased speed, increased crit rate, increased crit damage buff on all allies for two turns. His passive is pretty good as well. Immune to turn meter decreasing effect so he has to come uh, into the top 10 list amazing kit and that would be it for the champions from the epic tier ursala and lady annabelle could be in this list but there are so many good legendaries in here that yeah i just have to have to skip on those so next champion by the way, this is in no particular order. I'm just gonna be picking 10 champions that I think are the best in this faction. And next champion is gonna be Cetalia, great support champion. Her kit, uh, her abilities like A2 Lordly Embrace, removes all debuffs from target ally, places a block debuffs buff for two turns and heals that ally by 75% of their max HP and then heals all other allies by 20% of their max HP, fills their turn meter by 50 if the target is fully healed by this skill, which almost always is going to be the case because you're healing it by 75% of their max HP. So that's going to be healing a lot and always going to fill them up full, almost always. The second attack worth mentioning is that she has a 100% chance of removing all buffs from all enemies. So stripping them of their buffs decreases turn meter of enemies and fills the turn meter of allies. Of course, that uh, percentage is going to be higher if there are five or more debuffs uh, buffs removed actually 
Her A1 is not bad as well, 60% chance of placing HP burn debuff for 2 turns and Aura is magic ally resistance in all battles by 50. Pretty good champion, great support, but let's go to the next one, we have covered like 3 so far. And next one I'm gonna include Rhonda, uh, mostly because she is a free to play, free to get champion. Uh, secondly, she hits pretty hard and has some decent abilities. Her passive is amazing because she has 15% chance to join an attack whenever an ally attacks an enemy. And this champion will always use her default skill or, or flaming fury. Flurry. Flurry, actually. <laughs> I thought fury. At the start of each round, places a shield buff on this champion for two turns equal to 40% of their max HP. Next ability is gonna be Flaming Fury, actually her A1 that attacks three times and has a chance to attack the fourth time if uh, the target has less than 50% after the third, day, third attack. Her A2 is ability that can ignore shield buffs and 30% of the target's defense, attacks one enemy three times as well and has a chance to place block passive skills or uh, and block active skills. And her A3 is uh, Fury Tremor attacks all enemies two times, damage increases by 30% if this champion has more than 50% HP. Immun immune to turn meter reduction effects when this skill is not on cooldown and decreases all turn meter reduction effects used against this champion by 50% when this skill is on cooldown. Of course, one of the best auras offensively in the game increases ally attack in all battles by 30%. So Ronda is made pretty well and she is in our top 10 list. Next one is gonna be Staltus. Staltus is an amazing uh, defense-based nu nuker, one of the strongest ones, uh, especially because of these two attacks. Uh, let's take a look at this attack. So places a 60% increased defense buff on this champion for three turns, then attacks all enemies. So he already scales his damage already scales up based on defense and he's putting a 60% increased defense before he attacks. So his damage is going to be much higher. On his A2 attacks all enemies two times and each hit has a 65% chance of placing stun diva for one turn. Another great control, not to mention his aura actually increases ally defense in all battles by 30%. He has to be in this list. Next one is going to be Septimus. Uh, worth mentioning about Septimus is his A2 ability or uh, Holy Sword, attacks one enemy, will ignore shield and block damage buffs and damage increases according to enemy's max HP. So you can actually build him uh, to one shot for example Spider on stage 20 from a single hit if you build him correctly. Like increase attack, increase crit damage uh, on the uh, opponent uh, or the spider you can uh, place weaken and decrease defense and um, for example you can place poisons from Bad El Kazar which is gonna help you uh, deal even more damage because of his passive so yeah you can actually one shot with Septimus some of those bosses. Next champion I'm gonna be talking about is Raglan. Raglan is an amazing support she already has some pretty decent base stats. Attacks one enemy three times on her A1 called Repent. Fills the turn meter of three random allies by 15% and allies can only have their turn meter filled once per turn by this skill. Her A2 is a great ability, removes all debuffs on all allies then heals them and the heal is uh, proportional to this champion's attack. Heal part is not as important as the cleansing part to be honest. And her a3 is on a 2 turn cooldown when booked, revives an ally with 75% HP and a full turn meter. So, of course, Aura, one of the best defensive auras in the game, not one, actually the best ally defense in all battles by 33%. So you're gonna be surviving for long enough, you're gonna be uh, building her uh, building her with a lot of, lot of resistance, a lot of speed, a lot of defense and a lot of HP. You don't need her to do damage, you don't need her any accuracy, nor for the heals to be honest, you just need her to cycle through this and use it as much as possible. <laughs> then we are gonna talk about the champion that recently received the buff. Baron, one of the strongest nukers in the game and the hardest hitting ability in the game, Sky Piercer, 
which is worth mentioning. It attacks all enemies, will ignore shield buffs and block damage buffs as well as 50% of the target's defense. All of this is based on his attack, pretty solid uh, base attack on this champion, pretty solid base crit damage as well and that's to be honest the most important part about this about his kit a1 trample also is not a bad ability attacks one enemy will attack all remaining enemies with a surplus damage if the target is killed but yeah he's kind of one dimensional and i don't want to say it like that but pretty pretty strong champion pretty strong nuker so far we have covered one two three four five six and two supports, uh, two epic champions. Yeah, they are supports, eight, and now we have two left. And those are Taras and Marichka. Amazing champions, both of them are. Taras has, uh, is a HP based champion, and all of his damage is based on HP. But the most important parts are this. Incoming damage from skills is reduced by 50%. And when attack decreases the enemy's attack by 10%, up to 50% or 25% against bosses which are amazing abilities, uh, also increases ally crit rate in all battles by 24% with his aura, but this is the ability that's changing everything, attacks all enemies and damage increases by 15% for each buff on allies, then increases, then increases the duration of all ally buffs by one turn. What a broken ability, imagine you having like a duchess plus a couple of other champions that are gonna throw a lot of buffs on you, he's gonna hit so hard. And last but not least, we have Marichka the Unbreakable, create support, uh, probably like uh, with Taras sharing the first place for this faction, ally speed in all battles by 24% for the aura, uh, fully restores allies, decreased max HP, then heals all allies by 40% of this champion's max HP, places a shield buff and a protected strength and buff on all allies, value of the shield is based on this champion's attack, 20% of this champion's attack actually. Removes all the buffs from all allies, then fills the turn meter of all allies, then fills the turn meter of each ally by an extra 5% for each debuff removed, increases their uh, resistance and grants an extra turn if 5 or more debuffs have been removed. And most broken part about her ability is if she dies, she's gonna revive all dead allies with 50% HP and 75% turn meter. So whenever she is killed on a 3 turn cooldown. Also active effect, places a block damage buff on all allies for 1 turn or whenever an ally receives a bomb, poison or HP burn. If there are multiple champions that team with this skill, only one will activate. So yeah, that's gonna be top 10 list of champions from this faction. If you ask me to, to rank them accordingly, I would say but this is just my opinion, so I would say maybe like 10th place I'm gonna put Archmage Helmet on the 9th place. I'm thinking about this and I think I would put uh, maybe Rhonda, no, actually Septimus. On the 8th place I would put Rhonda, on the 7th uh, place I would put Stagnite. 6th place I would put Staltus, on the 5th place I would put Cetalia, 4th place is gonna be Raglin, 3rd place is gonna be Baron, 2nd place is gonna be Marichka and the strongest champion in this faction I'm gonna go ahead and put Taras as a number 1 champion in this faction. So that would be it for uh, today's video, hope you guys like it, also you can uh, in the comments below you can uh, type where, uh, what is your top 10 list for this faction and until next time please like share and subscribe this video <laughs> I actually never uh, even mentioned about subscribing but uh, yeah yeah I mean if you if you enjoy the content you can feel free to subscribe and share your thoughts with me in the comments below thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye